Today we're going to be looking at a variety of, um, of ways to uh, generate reading comprehension questions and be able to target uh, specific skills, as well as a variety of ways to evaluate those questions. Uh, so uh, starting out, maybe. Uh, um, so starting out, um, or here's an overview of the presentation, um, uh, um, or, 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 um, or we'll go over a motivation uh, or the task that, or, or that we want to complete, um, or, or, um, or we'll go over various ways of evaluating questions, um, or various ways of generating questions, and, and finally wrap it up with a conclusion. Uh, so, or, so first, uh, motivation. Uh, reading comprehension questions are useful skills that can be used to both uh, help students improve their reading abilities and help teachers assess students. Um, however, these questions take a long time for teachers to create, and the stories chosen uh, or may not be very interesting uh, or for the children learning to read. Uh, um, or, um, and, and finally, our questions written are uh, unlikely to target a particular learner's weaknesses. Um, or, or the solution, the solution that we um, explore today is automatically um, or, or, or generating these questions. Uh, so, so starting out with 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 the, with a task, or, 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 um, um, or, uh, or what do we want to um, or accomplish, or, or what are the inputs that we want to take in, and, and the outputs um, or, um, or that we want to get. Uh, or so we want to take in a context as inputs. Uh, or the context could be a short story, news article, blog post, or any other type of uh, uh, textual input. Uh, and we'll input that to our uh, question generator, and we'll expect out a uh, question that's relevant to the context. Uh, or many previous work has uh, uh, has taken an answer as input, um, or however we, um, uh, or we don't use an answer as input, um, or, or, um, or, 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 or since if you need to manually come up with an answer, then you might as well also manually write a question. Um, uh, or, or, or instead, um, uh, um, uh, or we offer the, uh, or the ability to uh, control the question type, um, or so you can ask uh, for a question of a particular type, and the question generator will output the question that's both relevant to the context and of the uh, requested question type. Um, or this allows us to uh, uh, target a particular learner's uh, a particular learner's weakness. Uh, so, or, so here's a quick example. Uh, John and Sarah uh, were walking down a hill. Suddenly, John slipped and fell into a puddle. Sarah laughed, but John was not happy. Um, 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 or we can take that as uh, um, as the input context and uh, take an order of events um, or question type as input, and we could uh, expect a question like, um, or what did John do after he slept? Uh, so so um, or this talk is separated into two parts, uh, or these two parts are fairly intertwined, so it's difficult to talk about one without the other, um, or, but we're going to start, start with um, or question evaluation first, um, and, and, and then and later go on to question variation. Uh, so, so first, a bit of background. Um, uh, NLP tasks are uh, typically um, or, or evaluated um, or, or by using a generated um, uh, candidate solution and comparing it against a, a number of um, manually created uh, reference solutions. Uh, so, or, or, so, for example, um, if we have um, or a system that uh, translates text from French to English, um, um, uh, um, or we could take in um, or the phrase uh, bonjour uh, and, and uh, the translator might output something like good day. Um, if, if we then want to um, or evaluate this output, uh, good day, uh, we can compare it against a number of reference questions. Um, or in this example, we have uh, good morning and hello. Uh, so, or, 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 so first we can compare against um, um, uh, 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 or good morning. Um, in, in NLP, we uh, or typically break up text into small chunks, or these chunks are uh, referred to as tokens, and, and they're typically words, uh, white space, punctuation, or uh, parts of words. Uh, um, or, 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 or so as we see here, um, uh, or half of the words um, are matched between good day and good morning, or the words uh, uh, good matches in bulk. Uh, however, uh, the words uh, day and morning uh, or, um, or, or don't match. 
uh, um, so half of the tokens match, we can we can assign a score of 0 0.5. Um, or, or, or we look at hello, um, um, or, or, or none of the tokens match, um, or goods doesn't match, day doesn't match, and hello doesn't match, uh, so, or so we can assign a score of zero. Uh, so, uh, or, um, or, uh, or since um, or, or the reference that, um, or that matched the best as a score of 0 0.5, um, um, or we can see um, or, or there are uh, similar score between these two metrics is uh, 0 0.5. Uh, and, and this um, or this evaluation method is commonly referred to as uh, blue one in the literature. Uh, or, or however, in uh, uh, question evaluation, we have multiple candidate questions and multiple reference questions, making the evaluation um, or quite a bit more complicated. Uh, so, um, or, 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 so there's been multiple um, or different methods to, um, or, 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 or to, uh, um, there or to perform this uh, or um, this evaluation. Um, uh, so so um, or, 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 or here we look at five different um, methods for evaluation. Uh, the first method is referred to as uh, Cartesian uh, evaluation. Um, or so in this method, um, or we compare uh, each pair of candidate and reference questions uh, using a similarity score like blue. Like um, the, the blue score that we looked at earlier, um, and, and compare um, 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 against all, all possible combinations of candidate and reference questions. Um, or we then take the um, or, or the uh, mean score over all these different pairs or, or to get our final Cartesian evaluation score. Uh, or the second evaluation method that we look at is called uh, best re best reference. It's it's a little bit more um, uh, uh, a little bit more complicated. Uh, or we start out the same, uh, or computing the um, or the similarity scores between uh, each combination of candidate and reference questions. Um, or, the, or we then take the um, or candidate and reference questions that um, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, with the highest score. Um, or, uh, or the pairs uh, with high score and, um, and, and allow multiple candidates to match the same reference. Um, or, or we uh, uh, finally take the mean over these uh, selected scores to get our final um, uh, best reference score. Um, or the third evaluation method that we look at is called uh, multimeter, um, or the same as the first two methods, uh, or we start out by computing the similarity scores between all co uh, combinations of candidate and reference questions. Um, or however, this time we use the Hungarian algorithm or, or do uh, uh, find the best um, uh, candidate and reference pairs um, uh, or without allowing candidates to match the same reference. Um, and and uh, same with the previous method, uh, um, or we take the uh, mean uh, um, over these uh, uh, selected pairs um, or, or to, uh, or to uh, get the final score. Um, or for our fourth method, um, or it's the uh, Frechette uh, Burt Distance or FBD, um, or, 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 or this method is, is, is a little bit more um, um, or complicated, where we start out with the candidates and the uh, reference questions, um, uh, or we then uh, convert these uh, questions into uh, or vector representations of each. Um, uh, so so, so uh, or we, or we take the text and then uh, convert it or to a vector representation using language model BERT. Um, or we then take the uh, mean and covariance uh, or, or the uh, mean uh, uh, vector representation and uh, compute the covariance uh, matrix uh, for the candidate questions as well as the reference questions. Uh, and then we compute the different uh, uh, the distance between uh, the two means and the two uh, uh, covariance matrices. Uh, or we then add these two values together and take the square roots to, to get the final uh, uh, FBD score. Uh, or, 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 or for our final methods um, um, that we look at is the MS card method. Uh, it's, it's a little bit similar to the uh, previous method. We start out with the canvas and the reference questions. Um, uh, or, or we then compute um, or, or, uh, token, uh, um, or token distributions uh, um, or for the candidate questions and, and the reference questions, and then uh, compare these uh, distributions. Um, or, or we then take the um, uh, geometric mean over um, uh, um, uh, all, all, all the different distances or to get the final MSQ part score. 
uh, um, or, 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 or so now that we've, uh, or how look at these methods, um, or, or, we, um, or we want to be able to compare them. Uh, um, or so, we, so we have two experiments or to compare these methods. Uh, um, uh, or, or, or so first a bit of uh, setup, uh, or we use six different uh, question duration methods uh, to get the candidate questions and use uh, re reference questions um, or from the quail data set um, and, and, um, and instead of using uh, blue as our similarity score, we use this uh, slightly more complicated similarity score called Meteor, uh, which has uh, some additional uh, steps, including uh, or, or stemming and uh, synonyms, uh, or to determine if, if two words are the same. Uh, so so uh, or for our first ex experiment, um, or we want to uh, or, or be able to determine if each of the methods um, or, or, um, if each of the methods are able to capture diversity. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, or so first we compute the uh, self-similarity um, or, 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 or between um, each of the candidate questions um, or, uh, or each of the, uh, each of the, um, or the, the candidate questions. And this uh, or self-similarity is, is a way of measuring uh, diversity. It, um, if if uh, um, questions are highly self-similar, they aren't very uh, diverse. And and if um, or questions uh, are not are not very self similar, um, um, then they can be quite quite diverse. Um, or so we want to compare that um, uh, um, that um, um, or to how we evaluate the uh, candidates and uh, reference questions. Um, or, or to do this, um, or we compute the uh, self similarity score as well as the um, or the automated uh, metric scores, and then uh, and then take the correlation between the two. Uh, um, or, so here are the results uh, after taking the uh, or experimenting correlation. Uh, as you can see, the uh, best reference and Cartesian product um, um, there are the best reference and Cartesian product evaluation metrics uh, um, are positively correlated with the self similarity. Um, um, or, 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 or uh, indicating that they encourage um, their self-similar or low diversity questions. Uh, on the other hand, the FPD and MS Jacquard evaluation me uh, um, me methods are negatively correlated with the self-similarity, um, um, indicating that they discourage self-similar questions uh, um, or, 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 or they encourage uh, diversity. Uh, or the multimeter method is fairly uncorrelated with the um, or self-similarity uh, indicating that, that it doesn't really uh, uh, or encourage or discourage um, or, or, um, or diverse um, or the diversity of questions very much. Uh, so so uh, or the second experiment uh, that we look at is um, uh, human evaluation, where we want to determine if e um, uh, um, if each of these evaluation methods uh, align with uh, or um, with, with aspects of human evaluation. Uh, or, 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 um, or so we look at three different human evaluation aspects. Uh, the first aspect is uh, fluency, um, or, or which determines if a question is easy to read and understand. Uh, the second aspect looks at answerability. Is a question answerable? And the third uh, aspect is uh, context specificity. It is a question specific to context. Um, there is um, an example of, of, of a question that's not very specific or to context would be, um, or what can you conclude about this story, uh, or since it can be applied to pretty much any story. Uh, so, um, or so then we um, or correlate each of these uh, human evaluation met uh, um, uh, or, or metrics with the, um, uh, uh, um, or the human evaluation aspects with the automated metrics, um, and, and we'll get the following results. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, FBD is um, most closely correlated with um, uh, or human evaluation of fluency. Um, the best reference method is most uh, correlated with human evaluation of answerability. And uh, the, the uh, Cartesian products is, is uh, or most correlated with uh, human evaluation of, uh, of context specificity. Um, and so if you can't do uh, human evaluation, FBD would probably be the uh, best choice if you want to capture fluency. Uh, best reference would be the uh, best choice if you want to uh, cap, uh, capture answerability. And uh, Cartesian product would be the best choice if you want to, um, or if you want to answer context specificity. Um, it's interesting to notice that Cartesian product is the only uh, method that's positively correlated with um, or with context specificity here. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, so, so uh, or, 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 or for, the, for these for these results, um, uh, um, or, or suggest that um, there are a variety of they're evaluating using a variety of automatic uh, evaluation methods um, or, or, or is beneficial um, in order to um, be able to capture m multiple aspects of of of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of human judgment. Uh, um, and, 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 and diversity as well. Uh, so, so, or, so for a second part, um, where we look at uh, question generation. Uh, so so um, we're starting out with a bit of background. Um, uh, um, or, 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 um, um, or, or in order to uh, or generate these questions, we use a language model um, or, or that takes a context as input and a question as output. Uh, um, but what is a language model? Uh, a language model is a statistical model that provides the probability of text given other uh, related texts uh, and is able to um, or predict the most probable um, um, uh, or next text in a sequence. Um, um, or for example, if we have the sequence the president is, um, or then we might expect a language model to uh, predict the next um, most probable tokens as Joe Biden. Uh, so, so um, or, 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 or one way of controlling the uh, um, or, or, or types of questions and and, and other um, um, uh, um, uh, or another outputs of, of language model is by using prompts. But uh, or but what are prompts? Um, or, 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 so let's say here we didn't want to uh, um, or we didn't want to uh, or language model to uh, um, or give us the answer. Uh, or to the president of the United States, uh, or let's say instead we want the president of France. Um, or, or so we can add to the beginning a, a, um, or a short um, uh, or, or sequence of text, and this uh, short sequence of text is referred to as, as a prompt, uh, and, and we're able to use this to control the output of language model. Uh, um, or, or so if we use um, or the prompt in France, in, uh, in front of the president is, or, or then this time or we might expect the language model to predict Emmanuel Macron instead of uh, Joe Biden. Uh, so, so um, or, 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 another sort of or related uh, or concept is uh, soft prompts. Uh, or, so soft prompts are a parameter efficient method uh, or to learn tasks, uh, or, um, um, or, or they can learn many tasks without uh, forgetting existing tasks, and you can easily um, or, or switch between tasks you, use, using soft prompts. Um, or, 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 so how are soft prompts different than uh, uh, regular hard prompts? Uh, um, or, 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 or so we go back to the same example here, like uh, um, or with, with in, in France, uh, um, uh, um, or instead of having the prompt as text, um, uh, or, or, or we can have like a, um, a uh, or, or, or a um, or a embedding or vector representation of, of, of the prompt and, and feed into the uh, or language model instead of the text. Um, or as we take in a soft prompt as context um, uh, into language model to control the um, or con to control the other ones. Um, or, or so how do we create these soft prompts? Um, or during training, a language model uh, um, is able to see um, uh, um, the remaining different examples of questions and is able to learn uh, um, or representation or, 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 or embedding uh, um, uh, um, uh, of, of these questions um, or that can be used to or to generate more questions. Uh, so, so um, or, uh, or for example, if we have uh, or, um, or questions or, or what does John think about? Uh, or why did Sarah laugh? Um, or why was John happy? Um, or, um, or, or then we could use these questions uh, um, or during training or to, te to teach the language model um, um, or, or uh, uh, character beliefs in that. Um, if, we, if, we uh, um, if we have different questions uh, or what happened after John flipped or why did Sarah laugh? Uh, what happened before John fell? Um, uh, or then the language model will learn uh, or, um, or a different soft prompt. Uh, uh, or, 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 um, or we can then use these soft prompts um, and, and feed them into the language model um, or along with like a different context. Uh, or for example, uh, the dog chased the cat up the tree. Uh, the dog tried to uh, climb the tree but could not. 
Uh, eventually, the dog left feeling defeated, um, it, uh, or we can feed that in with a character beliefs question, and, um, uh, or a character beliefs uh, self prompt, and we and we can expect out to um, or a character beliefs question like, or why did the dog feel defeated? Um, if we use the same uh, context with a different soft prompt, um, um, or for example, an order of events soft prompt, we can expect out uh, uh, or, or a different question, or for example, what happens um, after the dog cannot climb the tree. Uh, so so um, or, 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 um, or now on to our proposed method or for generating questions, um, or we call this method uh, soft skill QG. Um, or this method uses uh, soft prompts to control the types of questions generated. Uh, it does not re require manual efforts um, uh, or writing prompts. Uh, and um, all the model weights can be updated uh, or, or during training, or, 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 or the model weights are, are unbroken. Uh, so, um, or so for this model, um, uh, or, or, or it takes a uh, soft prompt and a context as input and outputs a question. If we uh, change out the soft points um, or with the same output uh, or with, with the same uh, context, uh, or then we get a different output. Uh, so so um, or we want to be able to uh, or evaluate uh, um, our, uh, our proposed methods um, uh, and, and be able to compare it against something. Uh, so so um, or, or we have or we look at five different baselines. Uh, um, uh, or, or in order to uh, um, in order to compare our soft steel QG method, uh, or the or the first uh, baseline that we look at is uh, the T five delta or baseline, which is a state of the art language model um, or that uses handcrafted uh, hard prompt uh, hard text prompts um, or, or to control the types of questions generated. Uh, or so instead of taking the soft prompt as input, it takes like a manually created um, uh, um, or textual prompt. Um, uh, so, so um, or for example, um, or, or we have the prompt uh, sort of character beliefs uh, sort of added to the beginning of a uh, um, uh, um, of a context, um, and, uh, or, 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 or and use that to control the output of language model. Uh, um, or, um, or, or, for example, like a character please question might be, or why did the dog feel defeated? Uh, or the second baseline that we look at is uh, the independent mixture of experts model, or the uh, IMO model. Or, or for this model, um, uh, um, or, or different submodels uh, um, are trained on different question types. Or so there's one uh, model that's just trained on character belief questions. Another model that's just trained on causality questions, and another model that's just trained on order of events questions. Uh, so, so, so um, or, or, or for this model, it just takes a context as input and uh, outputs a question. Uh, and in order to control the question type, um, or we can swap out the model and um, uh, and, um, and, 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 and get um, or the uh, or, or the model to output output a different question type. Um, or, or since each submodel is trained on it uh, um, on, on its own question type, uh, or, or for the uh, or, or third baseline, um, or, or we look at uh, or the original uh, soft prompt method proposed by uh, Lester and all. Uh, um, or, 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 or for this uh, model, all, all the model weights are frozen except for the prompt embeddings. Or so this method or, or can only learn the, the prompt embeddings, or the rest language model is left frozen. Um, uh, so, um, or only the prompt and bangs get, um, or can change during training. Uh, um, or similar to soft skill PG, uh, this model takes uh, um, a, a, a soft prompt and contacts as input and outputs a question. Uh, or the fourth baseline that we look at is, is the uh, no control model. Uh, this model is, is trained without a mechanism to control question types. Uh, or this allows us to determine if there's a loss in quality by requiring uh, control over question types. Uh, or for this model, it just takes the context as input and, and outputs a question. Uh, and, and this model has been trained across uh, or a variety of question types. So, it, or, so it's able to sort of freely choose or the question type that it thinks is, is most probable uh, or, um, or, or best suits the context. Uh, um, or similarly, um, or for a fifth, uh, about, uh, um, or a fifth uh, question generation method, um, or, or we have uh, constant soft prompt, 
uh, or this method is similar to uh, uh, soft skill PG, um, but but it is trained with the same soft prompt for all question types. Uh, this allows us to determine um, if an, uh, any improvement in performance is due to soft prompts or control over question types, uh, um, or similar to uh, a soft skill QG, uh, or, or this method takes a, a soft prompt as input, uh, 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 a soft prompt in context as input and outputs a question, um, or however, uh, or note that the soft prompt is always the same, um, or, or the, the same prompt, soft prompt is always used um, as the input. Uh, so, or, or, so now we want to be able to um, or, or evaluate these um, or these question generation methods, uh, or, or to determine which um, or which method produces the best questions. Uh, or to do this, we look at uh, two different data sets. Uh, the first one is the story-based question uh, 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 or the story-based reading uh, comprehension skills uh, data set. Uh, or this data set contains over uh, six thousand contexts, about uh, four thousand questions and nine question types. Uh, or the second data set we look at is the quail data set. Uh, or, um, or this data set has uh, um, 800 contexts across a variety of domains, uh, including uh, uh, short stories, news articles, and blog posts. Um, or this, this one is slightly bigger and has uh, or, um, or 15,000 multiple choice questions and eight question types. Uh, so, or, so for our first experiment, we look at um, or, or evaluating the uh, question duration models using each of the uh, uh, question evaluation methods discussed in part one. Uh, the Cartesian product, the best reference evaluation, uh, multimeter evaluation, FBD, uh, uh, and uh, MSD part one. Um, we use both the uh, SBR uh, CS uh, data set and the uh, Quail data set or for this evaluation. Uh, or so we look at the results for the SBR uh, CS data set, uh, soft skill QG, um, or, or performs uh, best across all uh, or all evaluation uh, metrics, except for Cartesian product, uh, where it performs uh, second best. Um, or however, for the uh, quail data set, uh, soft skill QG or does not perform as well. Um, or instead, the uh, T5 delta uh, um, or, or, or the T5 delta model tend, tends to perform best. Um, or, or, um, or additionally, um, or, um, or, 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 or we perform another experiment, uh, or this time, uh, or, or looking at uh, measuring perplexity. Uh, or perplexity um, it, it, um, it, it, um, it, it is a measure of uh, probability normalized by the um, or by the length of, of a sequence. Uh, or in this case, uh, a question. There's the inverse um, or probability of the sequence um, uh, um, or, um, or, or to the um, or nth root um, or, 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 or to normalize um, or the length. Uh, so, or, 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 so a lower perplexity indicates the language model is better aligned to a data set. Uh, and, and for this evaluation, uh, again, we use the uh, Quail data set. Um, and, and, and here we see that uh, the T5 delta model, um, or again, for the or Quail data set performs slightly better than the uh, or than the soft skill QG um, model, uh, or, um, or achieving a slightly lower uh, perplexity score. Uh, so, so um, or, or for a third experiment, uh, we look at uh, human evaluation. Uh, we use the same three aspects as we used um, or, um, or when we were comparing the uh, evaluation uh, methods. Um, or, uh, or we uh, use fluency, answerability, and context specificity. Um, or, or we also evaluate a sample of human uh, um, or generated questions uh, in order to get a, a ceiling of, of performance. Uh, and and uh, or we use the um, or quail, or, or, um, or questions trained on that quail data or, uh, uh, um, or, or, or language models around the quail data to, to generate questions for this evaluation as well. Uh, or so we have a look at the results. Um, or, or fluency uh, is very similar across all the evaluation methods and, and is about the same uh, um, or level or higher as as uh, human created questions. Or for answerability, uh, the no control and uh, IMO models um, or tend to perform slightly better uh, with uh, soft skill PG uh, or close, close behind. 
uh, or however, for the uh, context specificity um, that, um, aspects uh, um, or proposed soft skill QG uh, um, or, 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 or method performs best, um, um, indicating that that generates uh, or questions more, or, or, um, or, um, or they're specific to to, or to the given context more often than, than other methods. Uh, so, so um, or, 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 or we were wondering why, uh, or why does soft skill QG uh, or not not perform as well as some of the baselines on, on the on the quail data sets? Um, or, 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 or maybe has something to do with the initialization of the models. Uh, so so um, or we went through and, and did some uh, error investigation uh, into the initialization. Um, or we wanted to control the. Uh, differences in initialization between the T5 delta and soft skill QGD models, since the T5 delta T tended, tended to perform that um, or for the quail data set. Um, or, 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 um, or, 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 so we compare it, um, or a number of different um, uh, um, or, or ways of, of initialization. Um, or, or, or first, we have the uh, uh, T5 delta um, or, or model where, where prompts are chosen uh, manually. And um, and prompt lengths are, are set manually, sort of based on the um, or chosen prompts. Um, or the second is the uh, soft skill QG model, where uh, prompts are uh, initialized from randomly selected uh, or tokens in the in the vocabulary, and prompt and the prompt length is uh, fixed at uh, twenty tokens. Um, or the third um, or the third method um, uh, of initialization that we look at, um, or we're trying to uh, um, or control for the uh, a T5 uh, prompt initialization. So we initialize the first n prompts uh, in, in the sequence uh, to the to be the same as T5 WTA. Um, and then for the rest of the sequence, we select random um, or, or random tokens from the uh, MOS vocabulary um, or, or, or to initialize the prompt. Um, or again, we use a fixed length of 20 tokens. Uh, or, um, or for our first in, fourth initialization method, is fairly similar to last. However, instead of selecting um, um, or, or random uh, uh, tokens from the model's vocabulary, uh, um, or we repeat the prompt until we reach that that uh, or maximum uh, um, or, uh, or prompt length of twenty tokens. Uh, or, or for the uh, or, um, or, 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 or fifth method, um, uh, um, or we want to see if length um, or, or played a role. Um, it, um, in, in the performance of, of T5 WTA, or, or, or maybe the uh, short prompt length might might help, uh, or T5 WTA um, or with its performance. Uh, so, so we initialized uh, the prompt from randomly selected tokens, uh, or but kept the prompt length the same as the T5 WTA method. Um, and, and and for our last method, um, or we we uh, or we initialized uh, the prompts the same as T5 WTA. And kept the the uh, um, or same length as T5 LTA, or, um, or, um, or with these or initialized with these manually created um, um, or, or prompts. Uh, so, um, uh, or, 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 or so we compute the perplexity for um, each of these models, uh, and and um, and, and uh, or um, or as you can see here, uh, controlling for the initialization. Uh, or, or with uh, repeating the prompt, uh, so, or, so taking the um, there are the initial T T5 LTA prompt and then repeating it until you have uh, 20 tokens uh, performed almost identically uh, to the T5 LTA model, um, or, um, or for perplexity on the quailed assets. Um, or, or so this seems to suggest that um, or the initialization is, is, is the issue, or for the for the poor, poor performance. Yeah, uh, um, and, and and that to resolve this uh, issue, um, 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 or you can manually uh, um, or, or create a prompt, um, and, and, and um, or and use it to to uh, or, or initialize them all. Uh, so um, or, or, or to wrap things up, uh, or reading comprehension questions uh, are useful tools. Um, or, uh, or that can be generated using language models. Um, evaluating these models may require a variety of metrics to capture different qualities of questions. Um, it, uh, uh, or we propose a new question generation model called soft skill QG. Um, uh, um, it, uh, or this model uh, achieves state-of-the-art results on the SDRCS data set, 
uh, or hover uh, um, or needs a little bit of help from uh, or manually created prompts to, to achieve the same uh, or level of, of performance uh, um, as baselines for the quail data sets. Uh, in the future, we would like to explore, um, in, uh, in addition to controlling for the question type, uh, also controlling for difficulty, um, or looking at uh, during questions for low resource languages, and uh, or testing these question duration uh, or, um, or systems in, in, uh, or in real world scenarios. Uh, or we hope that um, or this work helps uh, deepen uh, um, or the understanding of the uh, re, uh, skill targeted skill targeted reading comprehension or question uh, task. Um, or we hope that that uh, this highlights uh, or the sensitivity of of, uh, uh, um, of uh, soft prompt methods uh, to their initialization, uh, as well as uh, we hope that this uh, improves access to resources and ultimately helps um, or children achieve their reading goals. Um, or, 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 or thank you all for listening. Uh, here are the um, references uh, referred to throughout the presentation, as well as uh, image sources, <laughs> if, if any of you want to use uh, or the images for, for your own presentations. Um, or does anyone have any uh, or questions or comments? Uh, Russ? Great talk. Thank oh, you very okay. much. Um, several points when you talk about having human generated things to help out. I'm curious, um, what is a Kappa score for two humans? The two humans, would they agree completely on right questions, right answer? Um, uh, I, I'm, 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 um, uh, uh, or, uh, uh, um, or, 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 um, or, are you talking about the, uh, um, or the human evaluation or? Well, for both, both yeah. the evaluation, the human evaluation, and yeah. also for kids and human generated. I'm just curious whether you're saying, you know, here's a human, you're trying to match that human, but maybe two humans would have the same differences, and maybe you're trying too hard because maybe yeah, if yeah. this captain scored at 0.7, you take it 100%, that'd be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, 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 um, or, or, or if we have a look back at, uh, I think, uh, uh, or here, like, like, uh, um, or, 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 um, or the humans are giving uh, sort of an answerability of of uh, um, of about seventy five percent. So the humans who created the questions so, um, sort of assumed that they were answerable, um, but the, or the humans evaluating the questions or did not. So or so this seems to suggest that there isn't quite the uh, um, or, uh, or not everyone agrees with with uh, uh, or what questions are, are answerable. So again, I think yeah. worth thinking, really, realizing that and saying, but gee, maybe you know, I'm trying to match this human, but maybe two humans are also like have a score of seven. So yeah. why should I try to match this guy? Not that good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Well, we seen like proxy matrix. In reality, the final matrix would be how well. So you have two students. One student learns on yeah. these yeah. prompts. The other student learns on um, Human gender difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or uh, I, I, I uh, or, 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 or ideally, we, or we would, be, uh, or try this sort of in a real world setting. Um, or, or give give some children um, or, or one set of questions and, and some other children or, or another set of questions, and, or, 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 and see see which children uh, or, or, or see which group it or improves best in in the reading abilities. And can we extract some signal from those experiments in order to improve our language model? Like, it's one thing to say, okay, this uh, this language model generated questions which are awesome for students learning. Yeah. But it's another thing to say, oh, this language model is not as good because the student did not learn. So how do I improve this based on how this student performed? Like, you see, I, I don't understand the question myself. Right? Or I don't know how 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 you would go about building or extracting the signal, but do you have any ideas? Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it, uh, or I'm. Uh, I'm. 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 I'm not sure. Like. Uh, or. Or. or, or it, it, if. If we. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Or. Or. If. If. Uh, um, if, 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 if we do have like there are different question types, maybe uh, um, uh, um, or, or students are uh, are improving like in certain types of question types, like uh, um, or, or like order of events in the story, um, or but aren't improving like in like uh, different types of question types, like character beliefs, 
um, or, or and then maybe that might have some uh, um, or by uh, or comparing the uh, students uh, improvements sort of in different question types um, or, uh, um, or maybe that might be an indication of, 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 of where um, sort of question types um, or, 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 um, or where question variation models like are, are going wrong and, and could could improve. Okay, great. Let's make sense here again. Oh, uh, so I know that one goal was about uh, making children with reading ability to increase as well. Yeah. There's also the option of having a you know, create children with data sets for different models and different language models to learn better as well. So you yeah. have all the same text and you're able to extract questions from it. So you're able to extract to enhance reading performance in children as well as maybe having better data sets for all the So what are your thoughts on taking a role and using it? The data generating set of maybe it makes better models with more question types for the better answer. Maybe repeat the question. Uh, so, so, so uh, um, or, 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 um, or, correct me if 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 I say this wrong. Uh, but but um or or um or um but Alex is is asking um 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 could could this be used. Um, or, or, um, as a way to or generate um, data sets, um, or, or, um, or, or part or part of uh, uh, of generating data sets, or to train other language models. Um, uh, so, so, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I, um, uh, I, I think I think that uh, I, I, I think this probably could or could be. Um, and yeah, or, or, or um, yeah, um, or, or, or controlling for uh, or for different um, or question types might lead to like more uh, diverse data sets, or, or which might be um, or beneficial for or, or for, for training models, um, or, or because it's sort of more sort of more and sort of more diverse um, or, um, or, um, or, or data, um, or, or one would expect uh, or would result in, uh, in, in a more robust model. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, I, I think I think I think this would be pretty or pretty easy to set up, like uh, um, or, or, or getting it to uh, generate questions about Wikipedia or um, or 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 or, or, um, or, or, or another um, or another data source where um, 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 or, 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 or where there is um, the information or that, or that can be extracted. And also for low use of languages as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Are we measuring the art of question generated? Uh, good enough for the context for the Because in the tables, the no control are also performing. They're not that bad. It does mean the metric measure that when the questions are good enough for the context we have. Um, are you asking about the uh, um, if the questions like uh, um, um, are good enough and sort of match the context or yeah, uh, or, 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 or um, uh, or when we're doing the human evaluation, or, or we, or we set up, um, or answer ability to or to hopefully um. Um, or to hopefully be able to assess that, um, or since like if, if a question like is relevant to um, or to the context, or then it's really answerable based on the context. No control is very close to the human behavior. In the no control, we don't give any. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's very close to human behavior. Better than all of them. Uh, yeah. But is is there anything that that metric is missing? Answerability. Uh, yeah, or, 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 or um, uh, so, so, so uh, yeah, or, 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 or this is sort of, yeah, yeah just, just one aspect of, of, of the questions. Uh, so, so, um, um, or, or you could have like, like an answerable or question like, uh, um, or, or maybe something, or what's true about this story, what's true about this article, um, or, um, or, but it's not like a very sort of interesting question. It can sort of, uh, and it would have like a very low context specificity score. Um, so, so, um, it could be the same question over and over again. Yeah. 
Yeah, or one method might might be or, or creating fairly uh, fairly repetitive questions. Local code is always better. It's better than the e five double D, which we are trying to improve. We are trying to get better than e five double D, but it's way better than that. The local code is good for all of you, including for this. But you want to be able to control the types of questions. Yeah, but yeah. we are not imagining. Yes, but this is not capture that. That's why there was all of the other. It just doesn't you're right. It doesn't capture that whether it's on for doing what it's asking us to do. It doesn't capture how diverse the question is. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or for this here, like it, uh, um, um, we do want a way of, of controlling the types of questions. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe there might be like like a little bit of a cost to answerability, um, or in order to be able to control to control the types of questions. Or because maybe, or, uh, or maybe question type might, or, or, or might not be very appropriate for or for context, and and, and might, and might or, or method might, uh, um, or um, or might uh, generate a question that isn't answerable, um, or, 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 or based on that. Thank you so much. <laughs>